Hello, I'm Ron Bergney with your afternoon news. Today I have a gruesome story from Florida with convicted serial killer Theodore Bundy. And today he has been executed by the electric chair. But first, some background with Brick. By 1972, he had graduated college and showed great promise in a career in law or politics. He tended to prey on young and attractive uh, college women, first near his home in Washington, then moving east toward Utah, Colorado, and finally Florida. Bundy would prey on these women with a ruse, often wearing an arm sling or his leg in a fake cast and walking on crutches. He would then use his charm and fake disability to convince his victims to help him carry books or unload objects from his car. He was also known to impersonate authority figures such as police officers or firefighters to gain victims' trust before he attacked. Right after college in 1974, Ted Bundy was sentenced to 1 to 15 years in the Utah State Prison after being found guilty of the attempted abduction of Carol Durant. Judge Stuart Hansen Jr. found him ultimately guilty and had to make a decision regarding on how he would handle the situation. It was either prison or probation. The judge requested a psychological and psychiatric assessment to help make the decision. This is only the beginning of his heinous behavior. Petty theft turned into attempted abduction and next murder. Truly a disturbing story. Back to you, Ron. Disturbing is right. Ten years ago, Ted was convicted of murdering and kidnapping girls in Florida, but more with that is Brian. Hey, thanks, Ron. Ted Bundy was convicted and sentenced to death in two separate trials for the 1978 murders of Margaret Brown and Lisa, Le and Lisa Levy. The murders took place at Florida State's Chi Omega sorority house in Florida. Bundy, was brutal Bundy brutally murdered these two women during the night. It is an event that these sorority sisters will never be able to forget. Again, a disturbing case. Completely a cold-blooded murder. What did the courts rule with this murder case? Thanks, Ron. Ted Bundy's criminal career started with his conviction on all counts for the murder of Kimberly Leach. On February 9, 1978, Kimberly Leach, age 12, was reported missing from a junior high school in Lake City, Florida. Two months later, after a large-scale search, Leach's partially decomposed body was located in a wooded area near the Suwannee River. There were semen stains in the crotch of her panties found near the body. Two Lake City Holiday Inn employees and a hair running expert established that Bundy had registered at the Lake City Holiday Inn the day before her disappearance under another name. A school crossing guard at the junior high school identified Bundy as leading a young girl to a van on the morning of the disappearance. Bundy was convicted of murder and sentenced to death. In June of 1979, Ted Bundy went on trial for the Chi Omega murders with Judge Edward D. Coward presiding in the case of Bundy versus State. Margaret Bowman and Lisa Levy, both sisters in Chi Omega, both lost their lives to this heinous crime. During the trial, two essential pieces of information were presented that undoubtedly led to the conviction of Bundy. First, Nita Neary, a member of the sorority house, identified Bundy as leaving the house the night before. Second, Bundy left irrefutable evidence in the form of a bite mark on Lisa Levy's left buttock. A team of forensic detectives were able to confirm this. The sentences from the court relied on evidence presenting during the trial, as well as taking into consideration that Bundy was under sentence for his previous conviction in Utah. The final ruling sentence was that Bundy was sentenced to two separate death sentences. All right, that's all for tonight's news. I'm Ron Burgundy signing off. Stay safe. Good night. Under the Florida statute of 782.04, murder is defined as the unlawful killing of a human being. In all cases within the statute, a sentence under statute 921.141 is put in place. This statute allows the court to assign whether death or life is prison, in prison is selected.